Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Emma here. I am super excited today because we are going to be painting cute foxes. So go ahead and find that small disc of wood in your box and let's start by reviewing what we did yesterday. Come on, let's go. So yesterday we started with some paper we got some other papers, our one that looks like stone, and our paper that looks like shiny wood. We also used some scissors and some glue. Okay, so the first thing we did was we took our gray piece of paper and that was our background. So we just set that down. Then we took our shiny paper and we ripped it right down the middle, making a nice jaggedy edge. We did that again with this stone-like paper. We even did that with our green paper. What we ended up with was a gray paper that had some mountains, some more mountains, and some grassy green hills. And then we can start by gluing this one. I like to start by gluing down the mountain that is farthest away from us. So we'll start with this one. We can put some glue on the back of our stone looking paper. Boom. So now this one is overlapping on top of this one here. Oh my green rolling hills. What did we need scissors for? If we were just going to rip everything, you ask? Well, now it's time to trim. I'm gonna just flip it over and trim off any of this extra paper here. There we go. What do you think? I mean, it's very nice, but it's missing something. Did you guys save some leaves? Oh, look at these ones. Maybe I can add some trees by gluing down some of these leaves. So I think these leaves look great. What do you think? I'm also going to add some paint. Maybe I'll add a little red here and a little yellow in the middle and the bottom. Maybe it'll fade from orange to yellow. Ooh, I like how that looks. What will you add to your painting? Maybe clouds in the sky? Hey, right, so voila, I've created a landscape. A landscape is a work of art that shows us the land and the sky. It can have buildings or just nature, but a landscape is always a painting or a picture or a collage of outside. I think I'm done with this one. Next up is my small canvas. Go ahead and unwrap this. We have our small canvas. This is how it comes in the package, but I'm going to turn it like this for us to do our landscape painting on. Now at the top of my landscape here, I'm going to start with a light blue across the top and just about a fourth of the way 
down my canvas. Now I'm going to make a light orange. Now I'm going to let these colors here blend together. Ooh. Now I think I'd like to do a pink and finally some yellow. What do you think? Now this is going to be my sky. But what I need to do now is add some land to make this a landscape. It's not just a skyscape, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the red and the yellow and the blue and no white. No white at all because I want it to be nice and dark. And I'm going to mix all these colors all together until I get this nice dark brown. Ooh, I like it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint some mountains at the bottom. This reminds me of my trip to Alaska where I saw mountains in the distance covered in snow and big brown mountains close to me. Now I can add whatever details I would like. Maybe a tree, maybe another tree. Ta-da! I'm all done with my second landscape. Go ahead and put this on the easel. Now it's ready to show off. Feel free to add clouds or paint other details. Great job, guys. Okay, so in case you missed the last class, that's what we did yesterday. We made two landscape paintings and or collage and paintings, and they turned out really great. I loved the ones that I saw. I can't wait to see yours if you are making this later. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is take a tiny bit of this Sculpey clay. Now this Sculpey clay needs to be baked in order to be hard. So we're gonna do this part first. So just take a little chunk and really warm it up between your hands like this. We really wanna get it nice and smooth because it starts out a little bit stiff. Once it's nice and smooth, then it's time to turn it into two triangles. Because guess what? These are gonna be the ears on our fox. So, I'm going to start with one triangle. Now, in order to be able to glue this on here later, I'm gonna make sure that I push it on like this so that I get a nice rat, round, flat area that I will be able to glue on later. And voila! Now, I'm going to bake these at 275 for 15 minutes because they're very thin and we don't want them to burn. So go ahead and ask a grown-up to help you bake these at 275 for 15 minutes. Okay, great. Now while these are baking, let's get started with some more paint. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is take some white and paint it here and here. So it's sort of like a semicircle. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Now it's time to mix up some orange, sort of the fox's signature color. So I'm going to take some yellow and some red and mix up a really nice orange color. There we go. What do you guys think? Now I'm going to leave this to dry for just a little bit. Then I'm going to come back with some brown and paint the eyes. My fox is taking a nap. Isn't that cute? You can paint the eyes however you would like. I just used a little bit of our Elmer's glue to attach my foxy friend's ears. Once they're dry, my fox will be finished. What do you guys think?
Okay, great job guys. I can't wait to see what you come up with next. I really enjoyed painting with you yesterday and I'm excited to see your cute foxes tomorrow. All right, great work today guys. You're amazing. See you soon.